Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Great to have you. We're gonna learn the iconic theme to Chariots of Fire. Oh, I love it. I love this movie. I remember it as a kid. I remember those guys running down the beach and we're gonna just imagine as we play this melody, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna play the whole thing for you and just imagine that you are playing it. You're on the beach and those guys are running by. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna learn it step by step. We're gonna learn how to do that. And then I'm gonna play the whole thing a little slower so you can play along. Uh, just now I just did a single A, single B, but I think at the eight, when I play the whole thing, we'll do A, A, B, B. And uh, let's get started. Fun tune. So we're gonna prep for this tune by playing D major scale. I'll do it for you. Say the note names. D open, open D. One, two, three, open A. One, two, three. So practice that on your own as many ways as you can. Each variation you add, maybe do it twice is my little suggestion. And then here's another prep thing you can do that I don't talk about quite as much, but that's really cool. And it's extracting the rhythm from the song. So da na 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 na. So let's see if I can just play that on a single string. So let's try to do that together a little bit. In some ways, this is harder than playing the melody because it's less familiar and it's a more abstract thing. Let's try it anyway. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, and um, I got distracted because I was thinking of those guys in the white suits running down the beach. Um, okay, so the last prep step we can do is to marry those two things together, that extracted rhythm on the D major scale. And so on. This is a great technique. Anytime you learn a song, if there's a really common rhythm, play that on the scale of the song. So, and I'm, I'm feeling a little self-conscious because I keep talking about the movie of Chariots of Fire. Have you seen it? Let me know if you've seen it. Maybe I'm dating myself a bit much here, but it was, it was, it's still one of my favorite movies. I haven't seen it in a while, but, but a lot of people maybe just wonder, scratching your heads. What are these guys in white suits running down the beach? See the movie, then you'll know. Okay. Let's do the let's do the song now. Enough banter, right? Let's just do the song. So that's the first quarter. You can hear that rhythm. It's all D major notes. So let's see. Note by note, starting open D. Chaining. First two notes. Open D to three. First three. A, then first four, and that, that's our triplet, one, two, three, and then we're to that little piece, we're going to add A, D, two, let's do that again, A, D, two, let's put together this whole first quarter. So you may want to take a moment to work out whatever technical stuff you need to work out. And then once you've done that, play it a little slowly, a little bit more slowly, and then let's try to loop it together. Counting in five. One, two, three, four, one. So, 
it's worth spending a lot of time on this quarter because if you get this, it's gonna unlock the whole song. You're gonna really have a feel for that rhythm. You're gonna know most of the A part because the, the A part's just variations on that little melody there. And not only that, you're gonna start to feel confident and you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I can do this. So it's always good to, if you find that key little part to learn it well. All right, so now I'll show you the second quarter. I'm just gonna play the whole thing and see if you can notice where it's different. So instead of going back down to the D string, we just hold on open A. So it's just the same thing, but it's a little simpler. Now let's try to put those two parts together. One, two, three, four, one. So that was the first half of what I call the A part. It really does kind of line up nicely as a fiddle tune for whatever weird reason. Let's move on. The third quarter is the same as the first. Here's the whole fourth quarter. And here are the notes, D all on D string. Two, three, two, O. Same rhythm. So if you really looped that rhythm or you pause the video or do it after this video, loop on that rhythm a lot, it really unlocks the song. So here's that fourth quarter again. D two, three, two, open, open. Let's keep looping. So that's the whole A part, and I'm not gonna put any more pieces together because we'll get to the whole, I'll do the whole thing at the end. So now let's do the B part. I'm gonna play the whole first quarter. Ah, oh, so good. Okay. Release some energy. Play quick little, quick little bows on A3. Not quite tremolo, just an end with a throwaway bow. It's kind of a, a nice way to let go and change your perspective. All right, so now let's chain the notes of this, uh, the first quarter, the B part. So actually, if you did practice the scale, you're in good shape because this is basically the scale, D major scale going back. All right, and then to that, we're gonna add this. A two, open, long, short, and then a one, D three. I'll do that again. Long, short, those last four notes, sorry. Let's do that again. I love playing and looping on all the little melodies within the melodies. So now let's put, put this whole quarter together. So all I did there was add that long open A. Here it is again. One, two, three, four, one. And now we'll loop on this. I think it'll be a worthy thing because the first three quarters of the B part are pretty much this. One, two, three, four, one. Same thing. Okay, that's the first quarter, also the third quarter. Now I'll do the second quarter. How's that different than the first? You may notice it's just a simple simplification almost. 
I don't add that last few notes. It's kind of nice. It's a very beautiful mel melodic thing. Let's put together the first two quarters. One, two, three, four, one. All right. Third quarter is the same as the first. And then the fourth quarter is the same as the fourth quarter of the A part. So you now know all the pieces. If you're uncertain of any of the pieces, rewind at this point and try them. I'm now just going to play the whole song very slowly, a little bit, a little bit more slowly. Because if you go too slow, it actually can is kind of hard in a different way. Slow playing slow is good technically. It really helps your fingers and arms and find their place but it starts to become really challenging mentally because it's not as familiar. Have you ever noticed that? Have you ever tried to slow something down and a fiddle tune and maybe that's why people pl always are playing faster because it's more like the way they hear it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Okay, so are you ready to do the whole song? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just trying to mentally imagine what the tempo's gonna be. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon, okay? Come on back to Fiddlehead. Bye. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.